how to identify a fake and an original lithium iron battery. So be a part of the channel by hitting that subscribe button so that you will not miss out on our new videos. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. All right, step one, unrealistic capacity. So if your battery says 9,900 milliamp hours, it's totally fake. I mean, what? I mean, how would an 18650 battery have that much capacity? I mean, the highest real ones can go up to around 3,600 milliamp hours, and that's it. So guys, do not buy a battery that is rated above 2,000 or 3,000 milliamp hours. An 18650 battery cannot hold that much capacity. It's just too small. All right, guys, so let's move on. Branding, guys, branding. If your battery says Ultra Fire, GTL, or Trust Fire, do not go for these batteries, guys. These are famous for being fake. And also the print quality. Um, you want to look closely for misspelled names or blur fronts or labels that rub off easily. Uh, that's not how Samsung or LG do things, guys. Legit companies will always always produce quality products guys so guys another way to know if your battery is real or fake is by doing a weight test so an 18650 battery weighs about 43 to 48 grams the fake ones often go around 20 to 30 grams because they're filled with junk and so guys these fake companies do not code the electrodes enough to increase its efficiency and so, if you really want to know if your battery is real or fake, you want to do a weight test. So, let's move on to the internal resistance of the battery, which is very important, guys. So, the real 18650 battery has an internal resistance of 48 milliohms, which is excellent. The fake one always go over that, and it's always about uh, 220 milliohms, guys, which is terrible and dangerous and so guys now that you're enjoying the video why don't you just support our channel by hitting that subscribe button and giving us a thumbs up that really helps the channel a lot and remember we can't do without you so guys let's get into the teardown of the battery so remember to not do this if you're not a professional all right so if you open a fake battery you might find sand powder or a tiny roll of foiled the real ones are thick with clean rolled layers of cathode and anode material, and also with a pressure relief vent and a solid construction. So next time you're buying an 18650 battery, be sharp. Do not just go by the label, check the weight, test the capacity, the internal resistance as well, and look for red flags. Fake batteries can damage your devices or even cause fires. Stick with trusted brands and if the price seems too good to be true, it might just be a fake battery. So guys, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, share with someone who needs to see this, and don't forget to subscribe for more real engineering content right here on Blinkside Engineering. Stay creative and stay safe. Goodbye.